Hello everyone, we're back with another video in our How to Use Widgets series. Today we'll quickly learn about the properties and stylings of the chart widget. You can also access the link to the documentation for this widget in the description below. Start with dropping the chart from the widget's inventory. Now let's quickly dive into its properties and inspect the widget to access the following options. Title we can rename the title of this R chart with whatever data it represents. Let us say Monthly Recurring Revenue, MRR. We can use the chart in two ways, with and without using the Plotly JSON schema. We'll cover both ways to use it. Let's start without toggling on the Plotly option. Chart Type There are three types of charts we can use in our UI. Drop down and select the type of chart you want in your app. I visually prefer the bar chart, so I'll be using it. Chart data. Under this, you need to add values in the form of an array of objects where each object should have X and Y keys. You can pause the video and add the following data. It is a good practice to experiment with a different set of values. Now let's toggle onto the Plotly JSON schema. We can expand the code editor and copy the values in the similar manner. Kindly pause the video to do that. You can also programmatically set the value to either true or false by clicking on the FX button. Before we further proceed, let's toggle off the Plotly schema option to access all the properties. Loading state. We can set the loading state of the chart while it loads the chart data. We can also programmatically set the values by clicking on the FX button. Marker color. We can customize the color of the marker in the chart. I'm changing it to a random one. Show axes. I prefer the default type for this, you can toggle it off to remove the XY axis. Show grid lines. I again prefer the default type. You can toggle off to remove the grid lines in the background. It can also be programmatically set in the form of Boolean values. Layout. Toggle on or off to control the widget's visibility on desktop and mobile. You can programmatically change its value by clicking on the FX button next to it. Now let's explore the styling of the chart. Click on the Styles tab to access the following options. Padding. Change the padding around the chart by entering a value. I'm entering 70. Visibility. Toggle on or off to control the visibility of the widget. You can programmatically change its value by clicking on the FX button next to it. Disable. Toggle on to lock the widget. You can programmatically change its value by clicking on the FX button next to it. This is what our final chart looks like. I hope this video was informative. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.